Hello, doctors to be, and welcome to med school. One bird doctor's journey to become an awesome competitive medic in TF2. So this is just going to be a set of videos, probably going to range over about a year or so. So stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of these where I basically try and not suck as much at this game, specifically with the medic. I'll probably give my reasons for doing so in the future, but for now, let's just talk about what we're going to be talking about. So there's three things I really want to cover in this video, three things that I've learned. Of course, anything I say in the future or now is quite subjective, so if you feel like you know better, that's fine. Maybe you do know better, and you can always disregard me if you feel the need to do so, but here's just what I have been noticing in the past few years of playing this game. So what I want to cover today is, uh, let's see, points, loyalty, and teamwork! Yay! Now uh, I guess we can go over points since that's a pretty simple one. I know you get, when you play this game, you get the urge to just, you know, kill everyone, get lots of points. If you're a medic, heal only the people that are going to get you assist kills so that you can top the scoreboard. You can look awesome and be like, hey, I'm MVP because I'm such a good player at this game. I am credit to team because I got the most points. Now, when you're playing Medic, shut the hell up. That's not what you're doing, okay? You are keeping people alive. You are helping your team push or cap points or defend or whatever the hell you're doing, whatever game mode type you're doing, you are helping your team stay alive. You are not worrying about points. You're helping your team stay alive, okay? You can see, I don't, I think we just passed it actually. There was a, um, Actually, no, it's coming up soon. It's coming up soon. There are a few enemies in the way here. I could heal this heavy. I could keep on healing this heavy here, because I'm sure he's going to get some points, even though his aim isn't that fantastic. I could go here, heal that soldier. I could heal this other heavy here, because I'm sure all these guys are eventually going to get some kills, eventually. Right? I could do that. But when you see a teammate in need of health, even if that teammate's not going to get you a kill, even if that teammate's a spy or an NG, or a demo, or a medic, or whatever. Something that's not going to get you an assist point. Something that's not going to help you top the scoreboard. You heal them anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you're not in danger of being pushed back, like right here. Right here. I could heal that that heavy. But I chose to heal the medic first. And then the demo. And then, of course, the heavy ended up dying. But see, we weren't in danger of being pushed back because of how many people we have here. So I didn't mind letting that heavy die. Because I could let my other teammates live. So that's the first point here, of course. That way you build up Uber. Because really the main thing you want to worry about as a medic is staying alive. It's really nice keeping your teammates alive, but if you're dead, you're not healing anybody. So don't, okay, that, yeah, that actually leads on to my next point. Loyalty. Don't bother with it. Fuck loyalty. Loyalty's the worst. Be a paid mercenary, son of a bitch, okay? That's what I'm saying here. The reason I say this is because if you're, say, here, I'm with this heavy here. Say this heavy were to run headfirst out there, which he's not going to do because he's not that dumb. But say he were to do that, right? There's, you know, the whole enemy base is out there. There's maybe four or five people. There's a sentry gun out there. That sniper has Jurati. We would probably die if we were to run out there. Now, actually we do in a second. But say, you know, we were to do that, or at least the heavy were to do that, I would not follow him. Even though, yes, I'm sure he's probably going to get maybe one or two kills, something like that. I could definitely get some heal points off him, because he's undoubtedly going to be taking some damage. I could do crits Krieg. We could, you know, we could kill a few people, definitely. But see, here's where my mistake comes. I follow this guy out here, and check it out. Sentry gun. And you know what happens? I don't back off. I don't back off. There's soldiers shooting rockets at me. There's a sentry gun. There's at least two other people on us. I hear a pistol. And look at that. I try and follow the heavy. Soldier kills me. If you know the person you're healing is going to die because they're going alone, or at least just the two of you, into an enemy base with no team support, just the two of you, don't follow them. Like I said, your main priority is keeping your team alive. If that person is going to die anyway, regardless of whether you're there or not, do not follow them, because you are going to die. They're going to die anyway. What the hell does it matter? Maybe you can net them an extra kill, but honestly, it's not as important as keeping your other teammates alive. And check this shit out. What is that? What was that? No. No. Fuck. That pissed me off. And there I... <laughs> I typed my, my discontentment. That was not a backstab. Just saying. Just saying. 
it was irritating. But this wasn't actually the worst round as a medic, but still, you know, I'll just spoil it. We don't end up winning this match, and I'll tell you why. This leads into my third point. It's all about teamwork, okay? It's all about teamwork. Now, this is a pub server, so you can't really expect much teamwork. You can expect people kind of going off on their own, doing, you know, deathmatchy stuff, which is fine. I, I usually do that when I when I play this game as well. It's just kind of the natural thing. You don't want to wait for people, you don't want to cooperate with people, because that takes a little bit of effort and sometimes you just want to blow shit up. You know, you just want to blow shit up. You want to help blow shit up. But, if you're playing Medic, honestly, you shouldn't even be playing Medic if you don't have a mic ready. Let me just say that. I don't know why I wasn't using my mic at this point. I genuinely don't. There's another death. Fact that. But I genuinely don't know why I wasn't using my mic at this point. You'll see a few times during this video, I just uber people when I feel the right time is. And it really does not end up doing a whole lot of damage to the enemy team. So that's my fault for not cooperating with the person I'm healing. You know, sometimes I'll just abandon someone without saying something and they'll think, Hey, I've got a medic on my back, I'll be okay, so let me run forward. Nope, they had no idea I was gone because I didn't tell them. You know, and my team doesn't know when to push because nobody's saying, hey, let's push all at once. Let's use teamwork because they've actually got a pretty solid defense coming through this choke point here. We never really managed to get through, unfortunately. But as a medic, let me just say, you are the most... <laughs> let me just quote Heavy here. You are credit to team when you're organizing teamwork. You, as a medic, you should be a sort of leader, almost. You should be... Well, the thing is, you have crits or ubers or, God forbid, the quick fix. But with those things, you can change the game. You can decide when your team is going to push because you can decide when you're going to allow your teammate to kill six enemies at once or, you know, when you're going to make your heavy and vulnerable because that, that changes a lot of stuff. If, if an enemy team is like three level three sentries up, you can kill them with a, you know, uber demo or, or heavy or soldier or... I guess a really good pyro if the sentries around the corner. But the point is, as a medic, you really need to cooperate and organize your team. Because honestly, the other teams are mostly focused on offense, they're mostly focused on killing people. Spies don't really do the whole teamwork thing at all. I mean, some do, but it's pretty rare. The other teams are focused on actually getting those kills. So you, you, the guy who's able to hang back a little bit and think, as a medic, you went through med school, didn't you? As a medic, you should be thinking about these things. When can I organize my team so we can get four or five of us together, take down that sentry, and just get past everyone that's trying to block us? Like, there's a sniper with a Huntsman and Jurati in there. He keeps getting those mini crits on us. That's right there. Yeah, it's, that's a problem, you know? It's a problem. There's a pyro that keeps coming up from the balcony up there. How are we going to organize to make sure that doesn't happen? You know? In real life, I, I feel like people kind of underestimate the power of a medic. Because I have been watching a few competitive games. Seems like medics really do change the game. Because without medics in this game, it sort of is standard. I mean, not really a standard FPS, but slightly more standard. You know, most medics in other games don't have uber charges. They you can't make people invulnerable. And that's something really unique about this game, I feel. Something that, you know, uh, you know whole strategies can be based upon that. And it's just not, it's not taken as advantage of as it should be. If you get what I'm saying here. If you get what I'm saying. So I don't know if it already passed, but I know in one of these lives I get about 5,600 heal points, I think. No, it wasn't that one. Scouts rain the spawn. It was not that one for sure, but 5,600 heal points. I believe my record at the moment is... No, that was 3,400. Pretty good still. But my record at the moment is 5,800 heal points in one life. I'm still trying to get that 7,000 heal points achievement. I will probably get that soon at this rate. We'll see. Probably on a payload map. Payload maps are super good for being medic, just FYI. Uh, what else? Payload race, not so much. King of the Hill, eh, depends on the map. River, or what's it called? Lakeside is... Wait, is it like? Yeah, Lakeside. Lakeside is pretty decent for medics. That heavy just got one shot. It's fantastic. Attack defense maps are good for medic. Payload maps are... Depth. Payload maps are probably my favorite for playing medic, I'd say, because there are a lot of hallways that you can hide behind, a lot of corners where you can heal someone, but you don't have to go out into the action with, you know, you get what I'm saying here. Now, I do feel like I've skipped the basics in this video, kind of went for some of the more abstract sort of stuff, and I'll get to the basics 
probably in the next video, you know, spy checking, looking out behind you, how to communicate properly with a mic, that sort of thing. When to know to properly Uber, because you can see I really kind of botch every Uber up to that track. Well, not everyone, but I really don't time them well in this video, which is unfortunate because those really do a lot of damage. But I'll get into that in the next video. We, as you can tell, we're not going to win. Me and this demo here are trying to push the cart. We've only got a minute left, though. We're about to die. There it is. There it is. That's what I get for trying to be on the... I, there's no problem with being a medic on the front lines. You just have to be really careful. That's that's really takes precedence. Just be careful. That's all you really need to do. And, of course, kill peoples. Kill the peoples. Now, yeah, I'm using Crit's Creek. I generally use Crit's Creek on offense and just a normal medic gun on defense. Reason being, if they got sentries up, uh, Uber, like normal Ubers are sort of useful, but if you got crits on that shit, you can take that shit down. Some enemies. It's really good for choke holds like this because people aren't expecting it. But if you're on defense, you don't really have a sentry set up. You know, so you might as well Uber. You don't really have a lot of people to kill. You're just trying to hold them back. You're not focused on killing so much. But anyway, that's going to be it for the first episode. I hope you guys got maybe at least a few useful things from this video from watching shit or listening to me talk or whatever. I don't know. I'm still pretty new at this. At this whole trying to be not bad thing. So, I will try and be better as always. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next episode of Med School. Yay! Alright, you all have a great day.